I love hiking. It's a great way to clear your mind, to challenge yourself. It's low cost and fits in with my work schedule, which is why I do a lot of hiking alone. But there's been a lot of wildfires and smoke this summer and bear sightings are increasing. So is it safe to do alone? Is it worth it? Today, you're gonna to find out. So today we are hiking the Greeley Trail. This is a solo hiking adventure. And I think this is one of the best trails that nobody hikes at Revelstoke Mountain Resort. Now, I've chosen this one today for two reasons. One, this is the only trail on the resort that I have not shown you guys. We've done Kill the Banker, we've done the Stoke Climb with the Sub Peak and McKenzie Ridge add-ons. There's even Bottoms Up if you really wanted to add that one to your list. But the other reason I wanted to do this today was because we've only got four weeks left of the summer season. Where, where has it gone? And it's been hard to get out the last couple of weeks with all of these wildfires. So I really wanted to make the most of being able to get out there and experience everything the resort has to offer in the summer while I still can. Now normally you would notice just how peaceful it is up here. The sounds of nature, the wildlife, the rustling of leaves, but not today. Yeah, none of that solitude stuff this time, I'm afraid. Lots of excavators, machine works going on all across the mountain. I suppose this just highlights the importance of being aware of your surroundings and being prepared for some unexpected challenges. Lookout point number one, we're about three quarters of the way underneath the Ripper chairlift. And there's always a sense of accomplishment when you're solo hiking. Whether it's reaching a lookout point or you're reaching the summit, you pushed yourself, you overcame the challenge, you made it to the top, and you had a pretty productive day while doing it. I wonder, what do you guys prefer? Solo hiking or hiking with a group? Let me know in the comments. Attention Greeley hikers, if you have not reached this point by blank, please turn around now, last gondola at blank. Last gondola's at 5.45. From about this point, we've not reached the summit yet. I mean, three o'clock maybe at the latest. Don't quote me on that, but. That's, that's my estimate. So is hiking worth it? For me, it's a resounding yes. If you're the type of person who looks for a bit of a challenge, wants to get some peace away from the otherwise hectic life um, and also connect with the mountains, then this is definitely the activity to do in the summer for you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series of videos throughout the summer. If you have, please show the video some love by giving it a like and subscribing to the channel if you are new. As otherwise, keep exploring guys and I'll see you in the next video.